Hiya, Kiki here, and I am going to show you one of our undercover features that is in beta, but you can play with it right now. It's called Arcade Kiosk. What you'll want to do is go to your browser and type in arcade.makecode.com slash kiosk, and that will bring you to this window that kind of looks like it belongs in an old school arcade cabinet. And that's what we created it for. So you see that it's preloaded with a bunch of games. You can navigate through these games using buttons. So if you have a game controller joystick or you've actually built yourself a kiosk that can access the web that you've got a joystick in the buttons for, you can navigate through this in that way. You do not want to use your mouse. You'll be using the arrow keys on your kiosk and that will allow you to browse through the games you can press A to start the games and play them in two-player mode if you have that available on your kiosk. Hit menu to get back out to the menu and you can keep browsing through your games. Now a really neat feature that this kiosk has is that you can add your own games to it and this is so much fun in the classroom. So again, you'll want to use your buttons to navigate. You can press the up arrow to get to add your game and then you hit the A button or in our case the space bar since I'm using a keyboard and that will give you this code. So you can either scan the code with your phone or go to the URL that you see beneath it or you can navigate over to your game, make sure that you have the number for your kiosk, head over to your game and click share. And underneath you will see the kiosk button here. You just enter the kiosk code, click submit, and you'll see that it's been successfully added to your kiosk. So now we're gonna head back over to the kiosk and we will go to return to menu. There we are. And it's gonna be quicker for me to go backwards here. That game will now be added to the end of my kiosk. You can have an entire class add their games with this code and you can have all of your games on one kiosk. There are a couple of things to keep in mind if you're using kiosk right now. The first is that this is all stored in your browser cache. If you restart your computer and clear the cache, all of the games you added will go away. Right now, this isn't tied to a specific person's account. It's just a general offering that is meant to be put on one kiosk that many people can use. If you decide that you want to replace a game, then you can hit the down arrow key and it gives you this delete game option. So I'll go ahead and delete that game, confirm, and there we go. Now we're back to kind of the stock arcade kiosk. Speaking of stock kiosk, you might want to have a kiosk that doesn't have any of these games on it. You might just want to showcase only the games from your classroom. We have a code for that. On the end of the arcade.makecode.com slash kiosk, you can add question mark clean equals one, and that will load a clean version of the kiosk. There will be no games here until you add them using the add your game button. Another option we have, and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of clean for this one, is to add the lock tag to the end. So I'm going to add question mark lock equals one. And now you'll notice that that add game button goes away and so will the delete game buttons. The delete game buttons will never be there on the default games, so you weren't seeing that anyway. But if I had my own games there, then the delete game button would not show. And this way, if you have a kiosk set up in a classroom or the principal's office, then people can't just go add their own games in a sneaky way or delete games. It will be locked. So that's kiosk. I hope it excites you as much as it excited me. And if you have any preferences, ideas, or feedback from using this, please don't hesitate to message us. You can reach us on Twitter at MSMakeCode or reach out to us on our forum 
forum.makecode.com. Until next time, happy coding.